Hello everyone. K. Komuro's lawyer said Fordham University gave K the JFK Profile in Courage and Sweat Equity Award. 1. Preface There was a page introducing K. Komuro on the Lowenstein Sandra LLP website. It may not be there now. When I searched for it earlier, I could only download the PDF that introduces K. The page initially said Fordham University School of Law, JD 2021, semicolon, JFK Profile in College Award semicolon, sweat equity award, semicolon, and so on. Later, the notation was changed to Fordham's JFK Profile in Courage and Sweat Equity Award. In Japan, K is represented by attorney Ueshiba. Mr. Ueshiba explained this notation. The explanation appeared in an online article in a weekly magazine called Josei Jishin on October 12th. The title of the article is Mr. K. Komuro won the same award as Obama. His agent justified about the alleged new career fraud. In his profile, the awards are listed with the name of Fordham University, just like the usual method in the United States. It was written with the idea that it would be easy to convey that it was an internal award of the university. It seems that it was a very common notation in the United States, but it seems that there were many inquiries from the Japanese mass media. Therefore, the law firm corrected it so that they could understand, understand if there was a mass media who misunderstood. This is the background. Unless otherwise inquired, it would have been left as it was. The JFK Profile in Courage and Sweat Equity Award is an award originally issued by Fordham University's legal clinic. At the law school, there are many educational programs for the purpose of training legal profession, and the legal clinic is a program that develops practical skills through practical experience under the guidance of an instructor. I've heard that this award is given to the most prominent of the program's students. In the following, we will proceed on the assumption that he actually explained in this way. 2. Explanation by the JFK Library According to the same article, the JFK Library explains the JFK Library Foundation is the governor of the JFK Profile in Courage Award and the only copyright holder of this name. We have no relationship or partnership with Fordham University and we do not run their awards. Our, our foundation does not offer such an award. 3. The content of 
The explanation by Mr. Ueshiba. A. Fordham University Honor and Credit Crisis. Fordham University awarded students the JFK Profile in Courage and Sweat Equity Award at its educational prog program, Legal Clinic, as explained by Mr. Ueshiba. Fordham University has awarded students an award of this name. The JFK Library is not involved in the awarding of this award and have not given permission. This means that Fordham University created an award with a same a name similar to the John F. Kennedy Profile in Courage Award, which is a registered trademark and a well-known award, and gave it to students without the permission of the right holder. Right holder. This is an act that may infringe, infringe on the intellectual property rights of another organ organization and raises questions about the university's awareness of respecting the rights of others. So if this, this fact is true, it could undermine Fordham University's honor and credibility. B is the JFK Profile in Courage and Sweat Equity Award one award. According to the original notation on the website, the JFK Profile in Courage Award and the Sweat Equity Award are separate awards and there, are, there, were, there were two awards. The changed notation seems to mean that it is one award because award is in the singular form. I found it unnatural about the evolution of the number of awards. Law school students usually know the names and numbers of awards they have received. Even, so, even more so with the names and the numbers of awards, they value so much that they tell their employers. Thinking this way, I feel that the original notation is true. Considering this premise, we can think of it as follows. Fordham University may have created and awarded students an award named JFK Profile in Courage Award without permission. It can be said that this name is extremely similar to the registered trademark. If this consideration were true, it would be possible that Fordham University's honor and credibility would decline even more strongly than in the case of AE mentioned earlier. For summary, Fordham University is said to be a prestigious university. If Fordham University did not protest anything about Mr. Ueshiba's explanation, and the notation on the website, for the notation on the website of the law firm, for the university would would be perceived as recognizing that recognizing these as true. If a prestigious university makes such an omission, can it continue to be prestigious? And what if 
the JFK library didn't protest Fordham University after confirming Mr. Ueshiba's explanation. It means that the JFK library implicitly allowed universities to arbitrarily create and give students the JFK Profile in Courage and Sweat Equity Award and awards with similar names. If, it, if that happens, the value of the John F. Kennedy Profile in Courage Award will decline rapidly. By the way, does Fordham University also have the Nobel Prize and the Fields Medal? If not, you should make a Fordham University's Nobel Peace Prize for K. See you next time.